What's up, people? It's your boy, DJ Obi, and you're watching The Mix on Indani TV. Why did I become a DJ? I honestly became a DJ, you know, honestly to make extra extra change, extra buck while I was in school and uni. But I already had the idea in my head from when I was younger. I come from a media family. Um, the late Dr. Livia Jonama was my father, and I was exposed to a lot of, you know, the beginning of the Nigerian entertainment industry. I'm talking about early days of The Remedies, Two-Face, um, Zaki Aze, you know, Plantation Boys, you know, and the legendary Jimmy Jat, who was actually the the light bulb that came on came on in my head when I was when I was younger. I saw him perform at TBS, and just the crowd reaction and, and the way he controlled the music and everything. That was where I got the idea of you know trying out to become a DJ. So fast forward when I was old enough and I was in uni, and I'm thinking oh. You know, this mall job that I'm doing is not getting me any extra money. I need to make more money. The next thing that came up to my head was, maybe this is time to pick up that DJing idea you've always had. I'll be honest with you, and it's not me bragging, but I did not take any courses for DJing. I am self-taught. Everything I know as a DJ, I learned by myself. Um, I didn't have to train under any renowned DJ. I did get a crash course when I was in school from a DJ that was at like a fun fair day in my uni. His name was DJ Naughty. Naughty, but not spelled Naughty, it's spelled like N O T T or whatever. Holti, sorry, H O L T I E. And he gave me a great, you know, real good like crash course. Then there was the transition from vinyl to CDs, so he was able to teach me on CDs. But today, I really actually do love vinyl. But that was the only course I got, and that maybe that that lesson was about 30 minutes while he was at his gig at my school. And he taught me, um, and then everything else I learned from there about music, mixing, blending, scratching, you know, pitching, BPMs, everything I learned by myself. So the inspiration behind Patak Pata is funny. Um, Afro Nation, <laughs> shout out to Afro Nation. I was, I had a gig at Afro Nation, and CDQ was in Portugal as well. And I've always known CDQ as a very cool guy. You know, I've seen him around. And funny thing is, every time I've seen him, he hasn't been one of those artists to just be snobbish or anything. He's always ah, oh, DJ Obi, Alpha, you know, those kind of things. So, but we've never had an extended amount of time together. And it happened in Afro Nation, and the result is pata pata. We were chilling you know, vibing, eating, drinking, having a good time at the festival. And I just let him know my plans. I was like, you know, I've not put out music as a DJ or, you know, because everybody's putting out music. So I haven't put out music as DJ Obi and I really want to, you know, so I wouldn't mind if you're one of the guys that, you know, I can work with too, you know, because I really vibe with your music, you know, and I think it'll be a great combination of, you know, the streets vibe versus, you know, DJ Obi brand, however we want to put it, let's package something and put together. And I honestly thought, because norm normally I've had conversations like that with even artists that are my friends and <laughs> no music has come out. But after that, after Portugal, I was in London and CDK was in London and he actually hit me up and he's like, bro, how far? At this studio, where you want the blah, blah, blah. And I, we couldn't link up and I was like, oh, I have this and that, I'm handling we couldn't meet in London. After that, I thought he forgot. And I was even feeling bad. I was like, man, this guy probably thinks I'm joking. He probably doesn't take me serious. Get back to Lagos. And he sees I'm back in Lagos. He's like, bro, I'm still here. Oh, how far? You know, let's let's get this thing cracking. And the day hit me up, I was like, you know what? Tonight, let's go. I'll come and meet you wherever you are. Let's sit down, have a dope listening se session, and like decide what the direction we're going to go. And he already had the song Pata Pata. It was done, ready, he played it for me and it was love at first listen. I wanted it so bad. He played me some other tracks, even featuring some other artists and it, they were dope. They're all dope, they, it was, they were all dope sounds, but Pata Pata is a complete and ultimate, it is the right translation of what a DJ Obi and CDQ brand would sound like when they collaborate in the studio. One of the most challenging moments during the DJ World, DJ OB World Record was being awake for more than a day. <laughs> um, I think it really hit me when 
I started the challenge or I started the world record and the first night or going into the, the morning after the first night, people were going home because, okay, it's going to support you, you guys go sleep, come back, you know. And people were leaving and I was just like, wait, I can't leave. I actually have to stay here and play music for the next nine days. Um, so that hit me hard and also, you know, being awake for so long, being awake for that amount of time, hallucination kicks in and that hit me heavy by like the third day. I couldn't even recognize family members. I didn't know friends, you know, but I'm just happy I got through it. My top three Nigerian songs right now say Tenny, Billionaire, Thames, Thames Baby, Thames um, Try Me, and Burner Boy Pull Up. In fact, Burner Boy might be number one, but no, in no specific order, those are the three songs that if I wanted to vibe to some Afrobeat right now, I'd definitely play. Possibly, even though it's been the million dollar question because I've done a lot of weddings and the question I always get is who is going to do your own wedding? Um, and I've also been told, make sure you don't DJ a wedding. <laughs> you know, but what I know is I want to have fun at my wedding. I want to have a blast. I feel like I've paid my dues in making sure other people enjoy their wedding. So I want to feel the same way. But would I DJ? If, 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 um, if called upon, I won't turn it down. I love DJing, so I would. I would like to create a moment in my wedding. Maybe me and my fiance and my wife can actually just be in the DJ booth and I can play our favorite music and everybody just has to sit there and listen whether you like it or not. So, <laughs> yeah, I probably would. Baby, 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 Ashanti. <laughs> That's it. That's it for that one. <laughs> mm. All I hear in my head is Burner Boy's boy saying spiritual. Mama, talk to me, oh, mama. Kiss Daniel. <laughs> Let us make way, ladies. Come closer. It's your boy DJ Obi, and you just watched the mix on Indani TV. Check me out on Insta and Twitter at DJ Obi, A J E N T. Peace.